Hey everyone, so I just woke up, I posted today's YouTube video, I was ready to relax and just go, I don't know, do something, make another video maybe, but I was gonna chill out. And then Metrolinx and the City of Toronto announced that the Bay Concourse is open already. It, it's not opening, they didn't announce a date, it's just open. They just opened it, randomly, like that, without any forewarning. So now, I have to go get on the bus and head down to Union Station so I can go film it, because obviously this is a huge occasion. I'm very sad. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Let's get to it. So as a little background, Union Station has three concourses, York, Bay, and Via. The latter of which, as expected, largely serves intercity trains, though some GO trains can also be accessed from there. Now, the renovated York concourse has been open for a few years, and we've shown it as well as its food court on the channel before. Suffice to say, it's quite nice, but unfortunately, it's farther from the subway and the center of the CBD along Bay Street, so the fact that the Bay concourse has been closed for renovations for years has been suboptimal. This is all as GO has run more service than ever before, including all-day two-way service on the majority of its lines and GO's first ever regular 15-minute bi-directional service, which is restarting in an expanded way soon. Check out this morning's video for more on that. So while the York Concourse has done its job well, it's incredibly exciting to see the Bay Concourse operational, given it has had its opening pushed back again and again. The Bay Concourse can be easily accessed from a few different locations. It sits on the other side of the Via Concourse from the Go York Concourse and has a similar but not identical arrangement. From the subway, you can actually walk straight into the Bay Concourse's lower level, where there is also access to the escalators leading up to the York and Via Concourses to the west. As you can see, there are still hoardings up, but this area is being fitted out with a mall-style retail area and a small grocery store to complement the food court at the York Concourse and the shops spread throughout the station. To get up to the main level, you can take one of the escalators in this six-wide bank, which is among the widest in the city, and then you're at the main services end of the concourse. Here there are ticket machines, a very modern Tim Hortons, and a service counter. If you're noticing a theme, everything feels slightly smaller in Bay than in York, which is fine. Bay can serve regular commuters heading to the path and the subway, while irregular commuters are more suited to the York concourse, which is closer to the Up Express and has more seating, restaurants, and service options. The actual finishings are really reminiscent of the York Concourse, with bright lights, clear signage, and improved wayfinding, including these cool strip maps and an awesome map of the completed Union Station. Now as referenced earlier, unlike with the York Concourse, there aren't a bunch of shops and restaurants around the Bay Concourse, and there's less seating and open space overall. There is an abundance of presto readers, mind you, and that's great to see. I imagine that will be because there will be a ton of people walking in from the path and the subway and then straight up to their trains. In terms of access, like with the York Concourse, there is access all along the side of the concourse which borders the Bay Teamway, which essentially is an enclosed walkway adjacent to the street under the rail corridor. This also acts as a sidewalk. There is also access directly from the Great Hall via a set of stairs, as with the York Concourse. Of course, there is also access from the Scotiabank Arena Entry Hall, and this allows you to move back and forth from the Bay Concourse to the Union Station Bus Terminal. This is only about a 5 minute walk, and it was cool to see intercity bus departures from here including to Montreal. Finally, you have access from the South Concourse where platforms 24 to 27 are accessible. This area should be getting redone with improved access and wide modern platforms in the next few years, so that will be something to stay tuned for. A lot of regular high frequency Stouffville and Lakeshore Line service operates from here. It's also worth mentioning that all of this work has been done in collaboration between the City of Toronto, who owns Union Station, and Metrolinx, who operates most of the service and has their concourses. All in all, while not as substantial as York, the Bay Concourse, especially the connection to the subway, are super grand and modern in contrast to the sometimes more claustrophobic spaces in the station. This concourse will open up much needed additional capacity, especially as GO continues to ramp up service, which is still going to more than double as electrification and regional express rail are rolled out. As a final aside, I will say that when I got onto my Stouffville line train home, which, as mentioned earlier, doesn't really benefit massively from either York or Bay, the train was surprisingly busy and that makes me optimistic about the massive return to transit post-pandemic, as people change their routines. The same was noticeable as I walked through the Eaton Centre and the path on the way to Union. Thanks for watching, and come check out the Bay Concourse for yourself.